Sacramento has been called vibrant, it has been called dynamic, but it's not because of all the growth and development happening in the area, it's because of the people. I played sports my entire life. Uh, started out as a baseball player and you know we all have that tragic story of the injury that ended you know in high school and everybody has a sob story but I didn't let my passion for sports end there. Uh, when I was in junior college I actually found the professor that turned everything around and got into a sports broadcasting class. Uh, from there I started calling every sport imaginable, doing play-by-play, -play, called over 150 games while in my tenure there. Wound up getting a job with CoachesAid.com. Uh, they cover you, uh, junior college and high school sports up and down the west coast. So I did events like the uh, Don Mattingly World Series in Surprise, Arizona, to a USA weightlifting championship. You name it, I did it. And found a real passion for sports while doing the broadcasting, thinking that I would want to become a broadcaster, continue with that. And I had a mentor of mine who was a professional broadcaster. And he said, if you want to become a broadcaster, you have to find a way to generate revenue. And you have to finish your college degree. So that really inspired me. And I found a school in Orlando, Florida called Full Sail University where they offered a degree in sports marketing and media. And immediately I knew that's where I wanted to go. So I packed up all of my things and moved across the country not knowing a single person and went there to Full Sail University and graduated with honors there. And when I, while my tenure there, I worked on events like Copa America Centenario. Uh, I also worked March Madness, WrestleMania, all while working with the Orlando Solar Bears and minor league hockey team where there I did marketing and sales as well. And, once I graduated, I made my way up to New, uh, Rockland County, New York, worked in minor league baseball there for a year and a half, and did everything under the sun from pulling tarp to being the mascot to broadcasting a couple games and was responsible for corporate sales. So what you saw on commercials and outfield wall, that was me and my partner as well. From there, I had the opportunity to come back home to California to be a part of one of the greatest stories in sports right now, the Sacramento Republic FC, on the verge of becoming the next MLS team. It's a once in a career opportunity to be a part of a group as special as this, from the you know, ownership to the leadership here, to learn from them and be exciting to take that next step into the MLS here. Be surprised on how many people here in Sacramento have not been to a Sac Republic game. They say, yeah, we support you, but have you been out? You gotta come out and check it out because it's a, you know, it's once you feel that heartbeat in the stadium at Papa Murphy's Park, Oh, you want to keep coming back over and over again.